welcome back to yet another Monday Motivation interview. Poker Dangal recently concluded its first ever 60 lakhs GTV The Big Show and what a tournament it was. I have The Big Show's winner Kashish Rathod here with me today for a quick chat. Let's welcome him. So hi Kashish, firstly congratulations, you know you won Poker Dangal's uh, The Big Show. I want to ask you how are you feeling after this terrific win which was actually your career best finish. First of all, thank you and uh, yes, I'm feeling great because this is my first one. I I don't think I have even won more than two lakhs uh, before in any event. So yeah, that's a great feeling and all. Or uh, I can still say that Avita, I'm still processing that. Of course, of course, that's that's you know valid because it's not a small amount. It's not a small tournament. Uh, you know about that. Tell me your Sunday grind. How was it? And how did you feel when you finally realized, okay, I'm at the final table? What was going on in your head? See, I was not planning to play this week on poker. Even uh, for this tournament, I played on uh, last sec- uh, two flights. I just made it on last two flights only. I didn't play previously uh, previous four flights, I think. So I just uh, sat down on. Uh, uh sunday i made day 2 and then i played day 2 on i didn't play on any website or anything i was just not feeling able to play on poker on that sunday also. okay so which flight did you qualify from like do you remember any stand out uh, moments from your flight where you know you actually qualified and then did you have any thoughts that uh, any goals that you wanted to reach on day 2 Uh, see, I deposited uh, some money to get a ticket on last day of the uh, uh, tournament Sunday only. The uh, Sunday's first flight was at I think 1:30 p.m. in afternoon. So I qualified in that, and uh, I was unable to qualify in the uh, last uh, flight. So I had to play day two with that on. Okay, so basically, from a sign up or uh, deposit code, you won a ticket and then you got through. Wow. Okay, so uh, that was exciting. You know, winning ten lakhs is not a small amount. Yeah. So, what are your plans uh, with the prize money? Like, how much of it is going to fuel your bankroll, and what about the rest of it? Do you have any plans in mind? I know it's only been uh, like not a lot of time since you've had this. So, uh, do you have any plans in mind, or how does it feel over there with this huge amount now? Uh, see, I'm feeling great, but it's just that after cutting TDS and all, everything is going to bankroll only. And since my birthday is coming this month, so uh, next October, so we'll have a great party. Also. Amazing! So, it's like an early birthday present. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can say that. Great. So you know, going back to the beginning, I want to know uh, how and when did you start playing poker? Like, what sort of attracted you to the game that made you want to continue playing it? Okay, see, uh, when I was in second last year of my college, I used to stay with my seniors. Hmm. So uh, I saw them playing on po- poker baji and all uh, previously, which uh, site started poker baji in Spartan. I think they used to play free roll. Hmm. So, yeah. So they used to tell me that uh, for pocket money you can play free roll. It's good. So even I started playing free roll. Then after that I uh, started play. Uh, there was a website called Poker Ninja. Mm. Uh, so I had a great run on that website. I played. Uh, I made some good money. But after that website was closed. I think mm. even I was. Uh, I stopped playing poker for at least two years and all. I was just busy in settling some things of degree and all. So I want to know, like, you've had a pretty long poker journey now. You started playing back in 2018, uh, and even if you've had a few breaks, that's uh, it's still a long time to be playing poker. So, are there any memorable parts of your poker journey that you know that will stay with you forever? You can say that. Uh, see, first time when you uh, win money from poker, it always feels great. So I think I, uh, the first tournament I won, I won that also on my birthday only. So the first poker money I went to my birthday party only, uh, and I think uh, that only pushed me to play poker. But uh, when I started playing poker in uh, college, I used to get back a lot. I mean, get I used to fail many subjects. 
that's why I had to take a break from poker and get a 2018 to finish my final. Okay, great. So basically, like around your birthday is like a lucky period for you, I guess. You know, you've you've done pretty well during uh, your birthday uh, time. So never yeah, know, yeah. you can you can do better. Your birthday is not here yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have to play a lot, I think. <laughs> Definitely. So talking about poker milestones, I want to know: um, Is there any milestone uh, that you cherish? You know, any cherished moments? Um, Or anything that is always going to stay with you forever, or maybe even a milestone that is on your goal list and something that you want to reach in the future. I th- I don't think I haven't achieved yet any milestone that will. This one is my first. I can say that. Before that, I haven't achieved any such thing. I because I used to play in bits and pieces. Some days playing on cash table, some day playing on tour- tournament. See, uh, I haven't studied about poker. I have been playing from 2000, but I haven't studied about it before 2022. I've just started taking courses and all in 2022 only. So that's why I think many more things to come. But this one is first. Well, first are always special, you know. And yeah. talking about you know working on your game, like you said, uh, a lot of people take up different tools uh, to help them work on their game, to help them uh, better their game, like subscription courses or even mentors. So, how do you work on your game? Um, do you also use these methods, or is there anything separate that you do? I just to screen record my sessions and discuss with my uh, mates who play poker. That's where I have been doing mistakes, and I also watch their recording discuss their. So I just get to know everyone's ideas. Mm. I just uh, I haven't started using solvers and all yet, but I'm doing all everything by uh, watching someone's session mm. or uh, taking someone's coaching and all about okay. it. So you know, talking about poker circles, a lot of people will say that poker circles are like. You know, an essential part where you need to have your poker buddies to discuss hands, discuss sports. Uh, so tell me about yours. Like, who all are in your poker circle, and how much do you, how much do you get together, and what all happens? I have some pretty serious grinders with me. You know, I mean, they are they are very good friends with me. Uh, one the uh, one of my elder seniors, I think, is Abhishek Jaiswal. He has also won millionaire on Spartan, mm. uh, I, uh, but now he only grinds cash on. Mm. And my other two friends also, the other two or I can say other four friends also, they are also pretty good uh, MTT grinders. Mm. They regularly crush uh, MTTs and all. So everything, every credit goes to them. Mm. Everything I learn are from them all. Great. So, who are the players that you uh, sort of look up to? You know, international or Indian circuit. Um, anyone that you look up to as a mentor, anyone that you follow closely. See, I don't follow anyone's uh, anyone closely, but I just I am just fascinated fascinated by our growers, winnings and all. How he have been doing from, from past this year or past uh, two to three years. Mm-hmm. Just uh, waking up and watching. Poker Guru's post about him just makes you um, uh, motivates you to play and all. It's just that. And about foreign players, I just watch someone's streams and all here and there. I don't follow anyone particular. Okay. So, what are your plans for the rest of the year? I know the year is just about to end now, just a few months to go. But uh, are there any specific poker plans that you have? Any uh, specific goals that you want to reach? No, I'm just. I just want to work on my game. More and more, and uh, just want to play till December. Then only I will take break and all. Just want to play regularly <laughs> because uh, I've just got a bankroll. Hmm. Bankroll makes you play uh, play comfortable, and that's all. So I just want to uh, see if I can increase my buying and all. Of course. So you know, a lot of people say that uh, poker teaches you a lot of life lessons, uh, not just in the game, but uh, it also teaches you um, how to be in life. Lots of life lessons, like I said. So, do you think? Uh, do you have any life lesson that you have learned from poker? Just patience. Everything I have learned from poker is patience, and I apply. Uh, it, I try to apply to every time in my life. 
just i was very impatient just before you know, i can say i study i started studying poker and all mm. before i used to play poker i used to get frustrated a lot yeah. if you get bad beats uh, mm. mood will just get down and all but since i have started studying and all it's just a learning phase but i think patience is the biggest thing poker has teach me mm. definitely so well do you have any parting words anyone that you want to thank anyone you want to mention specially so thanks to everyone thanks to poker dangal for bringing this tournament and uh, thanks to my friends for teaching me poker and that's all i can say and thanks to you for this well that's it for my questions thank you so much kashish for joining me to all the viewers out there do keep following poker guru for more such interesting and insightful interviews